My name is Jane Meadows, and I've got a secret. I've got a secret brought to you tonight by Miss Querrall. Hair color is so natural, only your hairdresser knows for sure. And by Bristol Myers, makers of Bufferin, the modern drug for relief from headache pain. Now, here is America's number one panel show, I've Got a Secret, starring Gary Moore. Thanks very much. Good evening. Welcome to another edition of I've Got a Secret. I would like, of course, to have you meet the members of our panel who are as familiar to you as are the members of your own family. Bill Cullen and Betsy Palmer and Henry Morgan and, of course, Bess Myers. And that's our bunch. Now may we welcome, please, our first contestant. Will you come in, sir? For me? How very nice. Have a seat, sir, if you will. Uh, thank you very much, indeed, sir. Can you tell our audience, please, what your name is and where you're from? John A. Milligan. Mr. Milligan, where are you from, sir? 9962 Coil, Detroit 22. Detroit, yeah. Michigan. All right. Now, if you'll whisper your secret to me, we'll show it at the same time to our audience at home. Yes. And, and, and then what's going to happen after that? All right, panel, this concerns something Mr. Milligan is going to do. And we will start the questioning, please, with Betsy Palmer. Mr. Milligan, is this uh, something that you're going to do uh, involved with that little candle on the pipe that you brought in? It is. Uh, does it have something to do with it being lit instead of unlit? Uh, yeah, I think it has to do with the fact that it's lit. That, oh, but you blew it out. Is he going to relight it? Are you going to relight the candle, sir? It will be... Uh, it will relight. relight. It'll Can be relight. you relight it by not using your hands, for instance? Is this going to be an unusual no, way? No, I will not use my hands. You won't? It, well, oh. to relight it, you'll have, we'll have to... Oh, no, that's right. No, no, you beg your pardon. He will not relight it. No, it will be relit. $20 down, $60 to go. Uh, forgive me. And Henry, here we go. Mr. Milligan, are you going to uh, blow on it? Blow on it? Yes. Uh, no, to light sir. it. No, sir. Uh-huh. Are you <laughs> going to use some other device of some kind? You're going to use some other device to extinguish it, sir? Mm -hmm. Yes. Extinguish it? Oh. Or light it? Did you, uh... Did you... Well, all right, there's $40 down, $40 to go. We go, please, to best. I know. Well, now, let's see. Um, <laughs> the secret has something to do, sir, with the fact that you are going to... Put a flame to something. Is that correct? No? Uh, repeat that, please. No, I won't. Uh, Gary. <laughs> we, we trust he is not going to set fire to anything. All right. Is there something else involved, like a big cake? A big no. 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 Is there something else involved, though, some other apparatus? Yes, sir. There is. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, there is. is. Sixty dollars down. $20 to go. I wish I were dead. Bill Cullen? <laughs> Might this thing, Mr. <clears throat> Milligan, that you're about to do possibly result in a raid? <laughs> in a raid? In a raid? W would what you're going to do cause the joint to be raided? Oh, no, sir. Uh-uh. <laughs> would you go further? No. Maybe it's going to be a machine that'll get started with it. Something yeah. is if there are many fire laws in New York, which is what I had in mind. Oh, oh. Uh, are you going to light your candle at both ends, Mr. Miller? <laughs> Burn your candle at both ends? No. Panel in the, his chosen Jesse. field, no one can hold a candle to Johnny Milligan. For 15 years now, he has held the title of Champion Slingshot Artist of the World. And tonight he's going to demonstrate his virtuosity by shooting out the flame of on the little candle with a slingshot while I hold the candle. No. Oh. no. Uh -huh. 
Mr. Milligan, how, how many years have you successfully defended your title? <laughs> Fifteen years. Fifteen years, and he's defended it 18 times. 18 times. Well, is then a slingshot not just a child's toy? Absolutely, indeed not. I recommend them to no children unless it's in the supervision of adults. All right, now you are going to warm up a little bit and let us get an idea of how sharp you are tonight, aren't you, before I hold this candle? I'm going to try, Gary. Lots of rock. <laughs> o- open the curtain, please, and if you go take your position, I'll, I'll hang the target. If I'm perspiring, it's for more reason than one. All right. Here we have two aluminum pans. You should do this or not. No, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna put these two aluminum pans up just to give you an idea of the velocity. All righty. Now here we go. Don't fire until I get out of the way. I look bad with a hole in my head. Oh, you have a metal one too. No, no, no. All right, sir. You may fire one ready. All right, let's go up and see what damage has been done. Mr. Milligan, we didn't quite get all the way through the pans that time. Let's try it once more and see if we can put one of those pellets, which are made of steel, uh, uh, through, pardon? Lead. Made of lead? Swell. <laughs> there you go. That's That'll give gorgeous. you a rough idea Beautiful. of the velocity these pellets oh, develop. Oh, my. You're going to, uh... Yeah. I'm going to hold a candle while he shoots it out of my hand. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Be careful now. Oh, we love him dearly. We will extinguish the flame. Yes, we do, Mr. Milligan. Nice from the candle. Him. His aim will not be improved by the fact that my hand is shaking. <laughs> <laughs> it did it. Good shot. Take Good night, Mr. Milligan. Happy times. <laughs> I just wish he'd held his party after the show. <laughs> Well, I'm going to have to ask you to leave the premises. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut. Co- no, don't leave the premises. Stay here. I was. Oh, I was for the. Oh, oh, that's right. Yes, we've changed the whole thing. Excuse me. I'm a little upset. 